Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Looking at about 60, rain clearing out later. Yeah, it's going to be uh, cloudy and cool and dipping tomorrow. Halloween high of 50 or so, maybe 53, 54. But uh, chilly, going to need the uh, the sweatshirts, the jackets for the trick-or-treating tomorrow night. Um, which uh, Candy and I, uh, we don't have to go through the whole story, but... Um, no. We are not fans of... Uh, Halloween and and Candy has a horrible story from Halloween many years ago. Many years ago, my dog Oliver got arrested, had to go to jail for five days. Yeah, because he licked a kid when you opened the front door. Evan yeah. opened the front door. He was door. barking, and when he barked, you you know he, he you were fr- I would I understood why people were afraid of him. He was supposed to go to the door, but nobody listened to me because I was giving him dinner, and I said, "Don't answer the door till Oliver's done eating," and mm. nobody listened and opened the door. Yeah, well, that nobody was Evan, as we know. It was. He felt terrible. Oh, my yeah. goodness. He bought me a gift. He really felt oh. bad. It was so sad. I'm oh. like, Evan, it, you know, next time just listen. That's all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and he still doesn't listen, so, yeah. He's doing better now. <laughs> he had a little talk recently. He's answering <laughs> my texts. He communicates with me. He's called me, so we're improving on that. All know. right. You know what I had to do? You know what I had to say? I said, you know what, Evan? I'm not going to be here forever. And there's going to come a time when I'm not here anymore. And you're going to say, why didn't I answer her texts? Why didn't I call her more? Yeah. And he no. took that to heart. That's very, very good. Good conversation you had. There. <laughs> it is. It's nice. You had a busy weekend. You texted me a bunch of pictures and you, you spoke to Evan. It's big. I also I got a picture of your dog Tilly this weekend, by the way, too. Because she got a haircut Friday. Is she not the cutest thing on the planet? She's the cutest thing. Cutest thing. Absolutely. So absolutely. And then we so were at cute. BJ's for quite a while, and it was pouring rain yesterday, so that was an effort. And now here we are. It's Monday, which is another nothing, effort. Nothing worse than leaving a supermarket in the rain. All the things get pouring. wet. Uh, boring. Brian yeah. was a gentleman. He went and got the car, brought it around, you know, brought it to the mm-hmm. front of the store so I didn't have to get all wet as well, although we were pretty wet. It was pouring and loaded everything up, and uh, now we're set. Oh, that's cute because you see all the old people do that, bring the all car All the around. old people. In fact, <laughs> funny you mention that. Because yes. I, I go to, you know, you have to show your receipt, and then I, I see it's pouring, and Brian's like, I'll go get the car. And I'm going to move over from the door to let you out, and this guy behind me goes, you're blocking the door. <laughs> I, I knew said, it. I said, I'm moving my cart as we speak. He didn't yeah. say anything. I said, why are people so rude and nasty? He just ran. I don't know where he was going in the rain. He didn't I say would've, another word to I, me. I would have paid money to have been there. Um, I would have loved that. And, yes, the the area where the uh, automatic doors open uh, to go into BJ's and the curb, like there's no curb. It's like flat sidewalk. And, right. Uh, Brian uh, pulled up so his old lady could load the packages. I love it. I love the whole scene. It's great. You know, I'm really not happy with your referencing, but uh, all right. I love it. No, nah, it's nice. No, nah, it's, it's good. It's very, very, uh, what's the word when you're... Uh, when you you know you, you lay your jacket down over a puddle so she can uh, walk oh. over it, what's that? What's the uh, what's the word when you're? Uh, I don't know. I might say the wrong word and you'll yell at me. I'm no cranky. when you're when you uh, the old the old school word. For, I know uh, what you mean. Oh, being I I gallant or whatever. It. Yeah, all right. gallant. I love it. All right. it's not the one, right. but na- it's no. National Wicked Day today. Well, I always feel a little wicked every day. Well, this is the day that the uh, Broadway show debuted. Do you know it's been 20 years to the day that Wicked debuted on Broadway? I haven't seen it, but I'm willing to see it anytime. Yeah, haven't seen it yet uh, myself. Um, oh, did I tell you? We'll stop there just for a second. Um, did I tell you that Sarah Bareilles announced that Waitress, the musical, which uh, Dana and I saw twice, and Elijah knows every word to the soundtrack. They announced that in December, 
for five nights only. It is playing in movie theaters. They they filmed the actual onstage version with Sarah Bareilles, with the original cast and everything and everyone, and they filmed it for the movies and for five nights only, December 7th to 11th. It's in movie theaters, and I got the five of us, uh, my whole family, we're going to go see it. I love it. In the theater. Can't wait. Yeah. And Elijah's going to sing throughout the whole thing. You've got to, you've got to yes. send me some video of that. Yes, can't wait. He will, for sure. Uh, we love that show, so uh, that'll be fun. Um, it is World Audio Drama Day today. That's like old school uh, where they used to put, like, uh, you know, audio like audio plays and things on the radio, remember, back in the oh, day? Oh, yeah, back in yeah. the day. Yes, I do. It's National Publicist Day, like PR firms. and My uh, girlfriend is a publicist, a publicist and done – she would – what, traveled with Celine Dion and Pearl Jam. She's been very successful. Yes, very much so. Um, it is Speak Up for Service Day, recognizing the importance of young people to be actively involved in community service. That's a lovely thing. Yes, I very think much. high schools, most anyway, would give you credit for volunteering and doing things like that. So... In our school, you can't graduate unless you have a certain amount of hours of um, being involved in a club or volunteering or doing – like you have to have certain amount every year. Love it. Uh, so by the time you're a senior, yes, you have to have a certain amount of hours. It's, uh, I love it. It and is good. And hopefully it inspires them to keep going, keep yeah. doing it. And uh, my my least favorite candy, it is National Candy Corn Day. Today? Yeah, I'm not a fan either. No, hate it. No. I, mm -hmm. You know, I don't hate much, but candy corn I hate. Mm -mm. Don't like it, no. Yeah, yeah no, no thank you. Uh, candy, some good news as we round out the show. A 22-year-old Wendy's worker saved a guy's life in Kentucky last Thursday. There was a medical emergency in the parking lot. He passed out, turned blue. Oh, my. This employee, Alexandria Coward, new CPR. She got certified in high school. Uh, she's training to become a nursing assistant, and the paramedics showed up, and she had the guy breathing again. That's, oh, I love hearing stories like this. Yes, so good. Um, a foster kid in Florida finally got adopted this month, just hours before he turned 18. Oh, I saw this. It made me tear up. And his quote, he says, it means I have someone to go to. It means I, if I need someone to talk to, I have people to talk to now. Oh, yeah. My heart. Really beautiful. Yes. And this person better be getting a very nice tip for the holidays. A man in Massachusetts forgot about an old lottery ticket until his house cleaner found it in a vase. It ended up being a million dollar winner. What? Yes. He's planning to use a chunk of the money to help a friend. Donate some to charity, and I'm hoping give the house cleaner a couple of bucks, you know? Wow, yes. Yeah. Amazing. We'll leave it at that. Candy is now jealous of this person. Uh, we all <laughs> I know. I just love those stories. I played Mega Millions this weekend, and I'm here, so yeah, I didn't win. <laughs> very yeah. nice. I, I want mm -hmm. you to have a very good rest of your Monday today. You too. Go by... A can of tin of sardines, and I will go to sleep. We'll you know gather what I have? here tomorrow. I have to get some candy for uh, tomorrow. We don't have candy oh, for trick or treating. See, yeah. I don't need it because there's nobody knocking on my door. Uh, yeah, I gotta put a. Bowl I don't out. have a bell. I'm. Sh I. I don't have a bell either. I'm shutting mm. the lights. I'm putting it out on the front porch. You know, enjoy yourselves. Um. Yeah. We'll. We'll discuss tomorrow. We'll be here for Halloween. All right. Sounds yeah. good, honey. Uh, thanks to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Um, we Please check our social media. We have so much happening. Our big shows on sale, Guys with Guitars for Mulcahy's and our Secret Holiday Show, also at Mulcahy's, both on sale, moles.com. I have a ticket blitz this Saturday at the new Peconic Bay Medical Center, Montauk Highway, Shirley. That's at noon for the Secret Holiday Show. That's also posted. And Candy, I will be hosting the Aaron Goodvin 
concert at Stereo Garden in Patchogue this Saturday night. Look at you. Out Go and about. Get your tickets, StereoGardenLI.com. It's all on our socials. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.